everyone and welcome back let's just jump right into this tutorial on my brows i have the elf cream eyeliner in the shade coffee underneath i use the tarte shape tape concealer in the shade medium and i'm also going to use that concealer as a base for my eyeshadow so i'm taking a beauty blender and blending that all over my lid so that it's nice and smooth and so that it does not crease i am going to use the air spun translucent face powder and just dab a little bit all over my lid so i can have a smooth base then to give my eyeshadow a more sharp and defined look i'm going to place a piece of tape at the corner of my eye then I'm moving on to my eyeshadow. The first shade I'm starting off with is called Burkina and this comes from the Masquerade palette by Juvia's Place. I'm just going to take a small, a relatively small blending brush and blend that all over my lid and this will be my transition shade. To darken up that transition shade I'm going in with Zulu and all I'm doing is making it darker so that my glitter can pop. So the third and final shade that I'm using is Ada. It's coming from the same palette by Juvia's Place. And I'm applying that right along my brow bone with the other two colors. So all I've really done is mixed Burkina, Zulu, and Ada as a strong transition shade. Then it is time to finally cut that crease. So I'm going to go back in with the Tarte Tape Shape Concealer in the shade medium. And I'm going to take a flat brush and cut my crease. This will be the line to give me an idea of where my glitter is supposed to be. Now this might take a while. It does take a steady hand, but with the glitter, you do not have to be extremely perfect. So now that I finished cutting my crease, I have a better idea of where the glitter will lay. I am going to then remove the tape. Now I suggest to all those who do not have a steady hand to leave that tape in place it'll give you a straight sharp look when you place your eyeliner i am using the nyx vinyl liquid liner in the shade black this is my favorite my go-to it's so dark and rich i love this eyeliner so you want to place the eyeliner first before you place the glitter otherwise you'll have a big cake mess so place your eyeliner first then your glitter second now because I don't use the tape, if I mess up on my eyeliner, all I do is clean it up with a little bit of concealer. So now I'm going on to the next step, which is applying that NYX glitter glue. I'm applying that all on my lid underneath my crease I've created, my cut crease. I'm just taking a flat brush. I'm taking just a little bit of that glue and applying it right above the eyeliner, but below that line I've created just where I want the glitter to lay. Now moving on to the best part of this makeup look, which is the glitter. I am taking a flat brush and I am mashing that glitter down where I've already placed the glue. Now I'm not swiping and I'm not patting. I'm just pressing the glitter down onto the lid, which will create less fallout and less of a mess. And I'm sorry I didn't mention, but I am using the NYX Glitter Brilliance in the shade 06. Now I specifically bought this glitter from Target, but I do know you can find NYX at most drug stores and or beauty supply stores. But I bought this one from Target. It was only about $3, very inexpensive and a great buy. When I wore this glitter for New Year's, I got 100 compliments on it and I absolutely loved it. So as you can see, I'm pressing that glitter on my lid, but I did get some fallout onto the eyeliner. So I'm going right back in with that liner and placing it right over the line I've already created to clean up any fallout. So 
So to save time on this video, I did apply my lash off camera. I am wearing the V Lux Lash by I Envy in the style Diamond. Now that the eye look is complete, I'm moving on to the next step, which is foundation. I am using my favorite drugstore foundation, which is the Maybelline Fit Me, the Matte Poreless in the shade 322. I highly recommend this foundation, especially if you're on a budget. It's not very expensive and you can find it just about anywhere. Now I truly love Maybelline because it is very inexpensive, but I specifically love their Fit Me collection because it does cater to a wider variety of skin tones. So women with deeper complexions like myself can actually find their shade in the Fit Me collection. Now to bring a little more light back into my face, I'm going right back in with that Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Medium. I am placing that right underneath my eyes, in between my brows, just on the tip of my nose and anywhere else I want to highlight. Then taking a beauty blender, I'm blending that concealer all out underneath my eyes, on my forehead, my nose, and my chin. Just in all the areas I've applied that concealer, I just wanna make sure it's nice, smooth, and blended. Now taking that same beauty blender I used to apply the foundation, I'm taking that and I'm going right back in to blend out the areas I've highlighted so I can have a smooth finish look. Remember you don't want to have any harsh lines and you want to make sure that your highlight blends in with the rest of your face so be sure to really blend using that beauty blender or brush or whatever tool you use to blend out your makeup. Now to set that concealer in place, I am using the same powder as before, which is the Airspun Loose Face Powder in the shade Translucent. Now I'm taking a big fluffy brush and I am applying some of the Black Radiance True Complexion Soft Focus Finishing Powder specifically in the shade Golden Almond, and this is just to give my face a little bit more color after applying that translucent powder. Now for some blush, I'm using this palette by e.l.f. It has four shades, and I'm using that top left shade, and I'm just going to place that right onto my cheeks. And now for some highlight, I am going to use my favorite highlighter, which is by Maybelline. And this is called the Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in the shade Molten Gold. I wear this highlighter every single day, regardless of whatever makeup look I have on, because I absolutely adore the shimmer. It gives my face and the glow I have when I wear it. So with highlight, there really is no limit with me. I literally apply highlight everywhere, especially this one. I apply it on my cheeks, my nose, sometimes under my brows, right on the top of my lip, and even my neck just to give me an extra glow. For my under eye, I am starting off with the Kiss New York Professional Waterproof Wonders Matte Eyeliner. This is the shade Black, and I'm just going to place this right in my waterline and then begin to smudge that out. Once I've smudged that black in just enough, I'm going to go back in with those same shades I used before on my lids, which was Burkina, Zulu, and Ada, and just kind of smudge those right underneath the black to give my eyes a little bit more fullness and color. For my inner corner, I am using the shade Giza, which is also in that Masquerade palette by Juvia's Place. 
Now, if you really want to open up your eyes and make them look bigger, you can always apply mascara to your lower lash line. Now, I am a sucker for the nude lip, so I am going to use my favorite lip pencil, which is by Urban Decay in the shade 1993. Rarely do I ever apply color to my lips, so I am just going to go over top of that lip liner with a clear gloss. So here is the final look to this makeup tutorial. I really hope you all enjoyed watching it. I really loved making it for you all. Please let me know your thoughts on the video. Leave me a comment. Like this video if you haven't already. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.